For the second year in a row, the Isle of Wight Car Club competitors took over the Ventnor Botanic Garden on March the 20th. For one weekend every year, the often quiet and relaxing crown jewel of Ventnor plays home to one of the most challenging and picturesque autotest venues in Great Britain. History often repeats itself in motorsport, and this event was no different, with Ryan Munt scoring his second consecutive overall and Class 5 win at this wonderful venue, with a time of 67 seconds behind the wheel of his low-cost. The former 750 Motor Club low-cost championship competitor and 2015 Isle of Wight Car Club champion only completed three runs over the course of the day, showing pace and confidence that could be tough to beat over the course of 2016. Ricky Shepard was second overall in his low cost, over three seconds behind Ryan with a time of 70.61 seconds. Expect to see Ricky challenge for wins throughout 2016 as he learns the ins and outs of his relatively new machine. Matthew Price, the winner in Class 4, took third overall in his Mazda MX-5 with an impressive time of 71.31 seconds. He was followed home by Chris Greenan, who took fourth overall in Class 3 honours in his Mini, with a time of 72.89 seconds. Daryl Turner rounded out the overall top five and took Class 2 honours in his spare Mazda MX-5, after the car he regularly shares with Dean and Tony Long blew a differential early in the day. His time was a 73.49, an incredibly strong performance for a standard car. Nick Mortar took the Class 1 victory in his Mini, while Vicky Cox beat Sue Mitchell to the honours for fastest lady of the day. A venue as challenging as Ventnor Botanic Garden often creates drama for even the most experienced competitors. Dan Morgan learnt this after a mistake left his Sub-Zero kit car damaged beyond repair after the second run, and Steve Wells ended his day early after his low cost began to leak oil. Dave Goodwin's Mini also came to a halt during the day due to a drive shaft issue, and Wayne Hole suffered a badly broken front right corner after a substantial impact on his third run. The rescue truck was sent, but Wayne and Ryan found a novel alternative method of returning the MX-5 to the paddock. The team of Charlie and Kevin Lower from Brighton wowed spectators and fellow competitors by threading their R33 Nissan Skyline around the narrow course. As this event grows in prestige, we can expect more competitors from further afield to take on the unique venue. The Isle of Wight Car Club's second round of the season, also the first unsealed surface event of 2016, takes place at Night and Sandpit on the 3rd of April. To learn more about the Isle of Wight Car Club, including entry costs and requirements, go to iowcc.co.uk. And to see more YouTube content from us, subscribe now. I've been Adam Weller, and this has been the first round of the 2016 Isle of Wight Car Club season. This is a short five-minute video of the Isle of Wight Car Club event. If you'd like to see the full episode and a video of raw footage, visit our YouTube channel. Don't forget, we're on Facebook and Twitter. Oh. <laughs> <laughs>